Hey everybody, it's Emily here from Phoenix Gateway and I'm bringing to you a weekly general read for the week 15th to the 21st of June and I'm using my Sacred Geometry Healing Cards. It's a really powerful week this week and I've already got some cards that I pulled as I was shuffling, they were flying out so I've decided to keep them because it, they're really pertinent for this week. Um, this week we have a couple of things going on. We have a, um, a partial solar eclipse in, um, in Cancer and, and it's an, it, the new moon, it's always a new moon um, and it's in Cancer and we've also got the solstice this weekend occurring as well. So it's nearly like a double whammy but it's like this massive doorway is opening up for us and um, this major shift is occurring in terms of of allowing us to be able to go through the healing process that we still need um, and to be able to let go of old aspects of our life because it's now time to make way for new beliefs it's time to make way for new relationships it's not time to make way for um you know it may be that even just to redecorate your home it just gives you a, a shift in in energy around you um you know there may be something new coming through for you in terms of business it may be something new in in relationship to your family maybe it's something new that's coming through in terms of the relationship with your children um, or it may be that you're starting to see the shifts in your children occurring now and again very pertinent we're going into um, the sign of cancer it's the new moon in cancer and cancer is all about the emotions it's all about the family aspect and you know what it's telling you to take action and this is the time but the first card that had flown out when I was shuffling before is the orange icosahedron this relates to the sacral center it is our nurturing aspect it is the feminine aspect and it, it then what came flying out is protection I'm like okay protection but then what came through after that was the 417 so if I I had to keep these cards as I said when I was shuffling because they just are so pertinent you know what this is the sign now this is the time that we need to walk through this doorway this doorway to to whole new energy um, a new understanding new belief systems you know uh, I was listening to Dolores Cannon earlier today and the two things that she was talking about as we come into this new world so to speak is that the importance the importance so important of releasing fear big huge because when we're we're in fear we are stuck in that energy and we can't move and it's also forgiveness because it's the same thing if we don't forgive we hold on to the emotions the energy in flow in which we hold on to that doesn't allow us to move on because we're stuck in that same thought pattern same belief system same process and it's telling us it is time and trauma is very personable it, it's very personal excuse me um and not you know we can't compare what we've each been through because each one of us has experienced it definitely and yes for a lot the trauma is intense it's tragic but you know you there are many people around us who you see who have been through some of the worst tragedies that we have ever seen you know and have turned their whole life around they have not let that experience um you know um, cripple them they've actually taken that trauma and they've allowed it to teach them and then from that they can then teach others and there is you know we are here we are here on this earth to learn we are here to learn how to to uh, to be able to manipulate and to uh, work with the energetics that we have here in this time so 
it is important this week and how perfect with this new moon in cancer this partial solar eclipse this solstice period that we are coming from and of course depending on where you are in the world to whether it's the summer or winter solstice but this is about this time of going within it's a knowing keep yourself safe and protected because you know work with work with the actual rate with raven work with the pentacle work with whatever it is that allows you that protection or makes you feel safe because again we can do this so many different ways and you know it, it's working with our perception again and belief system but you are going to be more vulnerable so which is why it's really important to protect yourself but know as we do this it is okay to release the trauma that you have gone through and again we've all experienced some form of trauma in some way it's about letting it go um, and what we can also see with protection is a couple of things a we can look at polarity it's a number 44 and it's a master number so that number the four is expanded it's doubled um, this is polarity but 44 is also we can look at the number four and four is about creating stability it is about our foundations it may be for some relationships it may be for some new homes new business it's something new something beautiful and something I feel close to our hearts you know for each one again individually is coming through for us um, and the card after the 417 actually is the tetrahedron and this is all about taking action it is time to walk your talk it is time to allow yourself to shine Another thing I'm thinking is that um, for some this could also maybe relate to the sign of Leo because of um, the sun energy. It's very masculine and it's and it's really interesting because we actually have the masculine and the feminine as we speak here. The tetrahedron is more work with the masculine energy and we're working here with the feminine aspect. So we've got the balance we're working with fire and we're working with water and what do we get when we work with fire and water as well we're actually working with that aspect of the Merkaba so it's another interesting way of looking at it um, it may be eight and 18 so 18 1 and 8 is a 9 so something is coming to an end for you as well new beginnings are definitely abound and well as I say that how pertinent because we're looking at the rebirth card and rebirth is all about new beginnings this is all about um, transformation transmutation it is working it is going through these this paradigm shift so to speak it's reactivating cellular memory that is laid dormant for so long it's working with snake medicine and uh, I actually have a couple of amazing elixirs that work with rebirth and one is snake medicine the other the one is medicinal dreaming um, and I actually work with Asclepius in that one which is really beautiful um, anyway this just this just makes so much sense I'm gonna pull another card so I'm gonna go from the bottom of the deck so I've got the deck turned over and it's the flower and when we're looking at the flower uh, what are we what are we working with we're working with the um, this is gestational so it's saying that you are in a period in your life right now you are going through major transformation you are in that gestational period it might be pregnancy for some literally uh, but you are going to give birth and the card prior to that was rebirth so you, this week perfect message this is your time it is time to release that which which leave doesn't come forward with you and the messages each week have been there are similarities in it but um you know what we're coming into the sign of cancer we're coming into this op this doorway that is opening up for us and it's spectacular um you know where you need to be and you you will know if you're on track um and Oh, I'm just going to say that and like the bottom of the card is the egg of life and this card is that you know it's the key to our blueprint and the answers that you seek are ready are inside so have um, a beautiful week wherever you are take care of you probably a good idea to do lots of writing to see what it is that's coming to mind um, and we will speak to you next week okay bye for now